my family's connections to World War II. To start off, my dad's side. My dad's side is Dutch, so they were in the Netherlands during World War II. My great-grandparents, Marinus van Prattenberg and Elizabeth van Prattenberg, and their children, which are the following oldest, youngest, Nettie, Wim, Winey, and Marinus Jr., who was born in the war. They spent many years struggling for food and avoiding German soldiers and bombs being dropped from German planes. The biggest problem they had was food. Food was scarce and hard to come by. Often Marinus, not Junior, would trade his own store goods for food because he could because he owned a store. Or, he would cross the river into the farmlands. The river was often bombed because of the ferries. One time, the children came to the river to wait for their father, and it was bombed. No one was hurt, but Elizabeth never knew such fear, not knowing if her family and children were okay. Marinus waited it out in the farm cellar, the kids took shelter in a ditch. This is why my Oma said they would never forget the sound of German planes flying over. Another story is, one time German soldiers occupied their home too with them. Elizabeth had an encounter with a 15 year old German soldier. She could hear him crying for his mother through the walls, screaming for her. The German soldiers were humans too. One time a soldier gave Elizabeth fruits. One of the happiest moments of Marinus and Elizabeth's life was in the May of 1945. Canadian soldiers came in tanks, handing out food and pushing the Germans away. The moment they waited so long for. Now, for my mom's side. This is my great-grandpa, Maurice Belanger. He was a pilot. My great-grandpa was a bomber pilot for the Royal Canadian Air Force. He mostly bombed ships. During his time as a pilot, he earned the Distinguished Flying Cross. This is my great-grandpa's badge. It has a Latin phrase on it. Which meant and stood for through the adversity to the stars or through the struggle to the stars. Lastly, the pilots often fought on if the bird was albatross or eagle. <laughs>